Welcome back to School of Golf. At the 2014 Open de France, Graham McDowell came from eight strokes down in the final round to win by one. Now it's time to reveal what you can learn from the two-time defending champ. Sarah, thank you. And we've got uh, we've got Graham up here in swing fix, as you can see. Um, I pre-drew some lines, and I want you to notice it's set up there. His hands are slightly ahead of the ball. I also want you to notice as he putts, how the putter head stays low to the ground going back and absolutely does not stay low to the ground going through. So his putter, his hands are ahead when he sets up, de-lofting the putter somewhat. We don't know how much loft he's got on the putter, but it's low to the ground going back and coming up. That's one thing I like. That's very good for getting the ball rolling as soon as you can. There'll always be a little bit of skid in the stroke. The other thing I want to make notice of is during his stroke, the distance between his elbows really doesn't alter during his stroke. That distance between his elbows stays about the same as he goes back and as he goes through. And I think those are two factors that help him be a good putter. So let's deal with the first one, Sarah. Let's deal with the hitting up at the ball with the hand slightly ahead. In and of itself, that won't make you get the line right, but it makes you get the roll to be correct. Okay. So judging the distance is very important. Best drill I've got for that on the putting green, just take an alignment stick, put it a little behind the ball here, and if you're putting properly, if you are, as Graham McDowell did, if your hands are slightly ahead and you almost brush the grass going back and then have the putter come up, a de-lofted uh, putt there, you are going to put a good roll on it. It might not go in the right direction, or it might. <laughs> and that was very good. The second thing I really liked, and this is, you might need someone to help you with this drill, but you could just take a, a marker pen, Leave that one there. Okay. You just take your setup for me. This is such a good thing. You might need someone to help you. And just put this one's little Sharpie pen there. Just put that there. Keep that distance constant as you move back and through. So a little low to high with constant elbows. And you're yeah. going to get the ball online a lot of the time. Definitely uh, feels connected. Well, connected yeah. would be would be you very can't, like, good. My arms aren't going to go like this because if you do this in any point of your swing, you, you, you're you going to drop. You don't want anything right. independent. I'm going to ask for one more one yes. more quick tip here that I like to keep the tension out of the stroke. Try putting one while you, I'll, I'll just step in and do this one. Yep. Try putting as you whistle <whistles> because it is very difficult to twitch in the stroke if you're whistling. It puts a very nice roll right. on the ball and takes the hit. And I'm glad you did that one because I don't know how to whistle. Well, you Good. could always hum if yeah, you don't know how to go. whistle. Yeah, there you go.